Richie Covers Richie. Singer Richie Stevens teaming up with top arranger and session musician Dean Fraser on a classic pop ballad. Later written by Lionel Richie for Kenny Rogers in 1980 and a Billboard Hot 100 chart topper for six weeks. Lady, for so many years, I thought I'd never find you. In fact, Rogers' best-selling single as a solo artist. No mean feat since he topped the country charts multiple times. You got to know when the whole Lionel Richie himself recording Lady in 1989. At any rate, the Lovey Dovey standard pitched to Stevens by DJ Smurf. I remember when I was very young trying to get into music. That was one of the songs on my cassette that I used to actually sit down and listen to and try to sing those lines and those notes. Kenny Rogers' Lady. You have made me what I am. All I wanted to do is to figure out how would I approach the song vocally. And the Dean of Session Musicians called on to drop some seasoned sax. I added a little touch of what we don't call roots. Didn't make it sound too bright and, and edgy. You know what the British people call um, lover's rock. So from overdub, to shared credit. Dean really came in to just play as a musician and just leave. But the man put on a piece of performance, the brother. And after we start sending the song out, um, all of the radio people say, Yo, Richie, I Dean that, right? We say, Yes. We say, Boy, the man give you a run for your money. I show the head So it have to be Richie Stevens featuring Dean Fraser. Couldn't deny that. Good melodies, good lyrics, you can't go by it. You can't pass it. You have to stop and listen to it. And this is one of the songs that you, has that. You feel sometimes, though, that you're holding on to a, a, a skill, a talent, that, you know, after you, there are going to be fewer and fewer people who are going to be able to carry on that tradition. Who do you transmit that to? Uh, who well, wants to learn? I have a couple of people. Oshie and Love is a fantastic horn player. and. He him covered the whole jazz and thing. And right now, I'm, I, I have him learning and understanding how the Jamaican music work and how the recording work, and he's good at it. Trust Not me. hearing very many instruments, though, on the new music coming out no, of Jamaica. No, it is, it is kind of a difficult. It's too I, hard I for them. They want I, beats. I, yes, I, 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 and that's one of the problems. I think our little producers know just making beats. So I am encouraging them to say, Mr. Fraser, come play for our beats and make us see if we can get some music going. Beats beating Dean Fraser bad, but nice to see him looking so well after recent dire speculation about his health on social media. The rumors of your ill health were obviously <laughs> exaggerated, Dean Fraser. Yes. Here you are looking chipper. I am fine, man. You know, I mean, any publicity is good publicity. You understand? <laughs> did you smile? Were you alarmed? I did. When, when, I, I, what I, I, what I was did. your reaction? My reaction was, I am fine and in my bed. Me go sleep. Thanks for the love, you know? And lady conjuring lots of love. We complain a lot about how the music's going. Some people say it mash up. Some people say it's not representing Jamaica. Some people say all kind of things. But it's one thing I know. They know this though, and you know this. One thing that will never go out of style is a good song. A good song will never go out of style. And as Shabba say, when DJ hear boom rhythm when he has cock up, it's when people hear a good song, everybody sing along. More good stuff on the way from Richie and Dean. Welcome news for COVID-fatigued music listeners. Both busy even as the business grapples with the pandemic. And of course, you know, the first project is healing for Taurus Riley. And um, I also did a little Christmas album, you know, with a difference. Me do it Naya Bingi style. And me have another um, instrumental album that I did around Tad's records. So things are happening. Oh.
obviously we know you play the horn, you're an arranger, you're somebody who has taste and talent. Right. But what what is going to make a, the difference on somebody's project with a Dean Fraser sort of marshalling the troops? Well, you never can tell. Um, what is interesting is that I really try to bring out another level of what's happening. So, for instance, you, you get a vocal that is, you know, a little between here and there, and you try to use other vocals to enhance and, 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 and make it agreeable to people's ear, and people say, oh, what is that? You understand me? And of course, you know, you interject little horns here and there, and my little section, you know, with people like O'Keele and Ray, we just sit down and say, Come, let's brighten this, let's get it going, you understand me? Because it's COVID time and we want to frighten people into being happy. But your method, your approach is always gentle or sometimes you have to be No, blunt. very aggressive sometimes. When you have a song, and if I put on a vocal and feel it great, and Dean come and complain and say, Richie, we kid but to sit apart there and so and so, I would be stupid not to listen. Because back in the, in the, in the earlier days, you know, that is how music, we used to have so many big songs, you know. Because you have the Berries and the Dennis Brown and the Greg Reiser and everybody at the studio one time. And when the song I go down, man, I interject and I say, that the could I could do that. And so and So by, by at the end of the day, the song big so. But that's your experience. Mm -hmm. Are these kids willing to listen though? Some of them, yes. Mm -hmm. Right, a lot of them think that, yeah, you know, old boy, you know, and that is old style. <laughs> but you know, <clears throat> if you are serious about music and, and making it your life, you have to revisit and you have to know where you come from, you have to know where you go. So if, sure. you, if, you, if you don't have that in mind, you know, I think you should give the business a break. What's the song that you have to do at some point that you haven't done yet? I'm thinking of a project and I think I'm going dance hall and I'm going to do classic dance hall songs because one of my problems with our dance hall music is that at the rate it's going, we are not going to make any money from it. But guess what? Ed Sheeran and Beyonce Beaver. and Beaver and all Beaver. of them. Just take your drum and bass and when them finish write good lyrics and thing and thing, them gone with everything. Why you start, to, I personally want to tell all of the dancers, I them say, start think of your music on that level. Start think like you're Stevie Wonder, you know, start think that lyrical content and, and how to e express yourself musically on your top of your rhythm because that is the new pop rhythm, the new pop music. So go with it, deal with it properly. My lover, there's so many ways I want to say I love you.